Hello again, this time I'm back with the shot distance bow. And you can see here, um, this bow is a poison bow, obviously. It's got critter damage that doesn't really matter, and then shot distance, which is basically what shows that it's, it's going to shoot super fast. Uh, I would even call it shot speed. That would probably make more sense, but you can see if I cock it back, it goes extremely fast, even when it's pulled just a slight amount. And if I pull all the way back, it'll go a little faster, I think. <laughs> but honestly, I, I can't even tell because it goes so fast just by barely doing anything. Um, but yeah, we'll see if I shoot all the way to the end over there. There's a little bit of an arc, but almost nothing. But yeah, you can see, so here I've got the shot distance, which here in the perk info, this is what it does. Um, increases shooting range by 10 to 60%, and because I'm level 50, I think that means it is 60%. Um, and I believe I got this when I was level 50, so that should work. And then, oh, here I've got the exo points, which is far shot. Um, basically does the same thing increases the range by 50%, uh, which is just the speed, I would assume. And yeah, so overall, I think it's 110% increase to the distance or the speed. And while I don't know exactly how that corresponds to actual speed, um, I, it seems like it makes it go almost as fast as a bullet. So yeah, I'll show here. We're gonna do... I'll do Underworld or Lava Forge, whatever has the best map here. Um, hmm, this one looks pretty, pretty straightforward, and it's got big rooms too, which will be cool for, for some sniping. But we'll do Tier 6, launch this mission, and get to it. Um, I also do have these uh, daggers, which are super awesome. They've got like a chromium uh, metal on the bottom to them. And that's pretty cool. Chromium finish, I guess. But going in with the bow, let's see what we got. And oh, interesting. I haven't had this starter room in forever. This is the uh, the starter room that you get in the tutorial, or just about. It's it's very similar. Um, but yeah, that's cool stuff. Got some stuff. Let's let's see if I get a a bow. A shot distance bow. Nope. Okay, Rax. That's fine. Um, but, yeah, I wouldn't say that the shot distance bow is particularly good. Ooh. Okay. Got a, wow. That made the bat fly super far, too. That's pretty <laughs> pretty fun. Um, but, yeah, I don't have, a, don't have a key yet. Now I do. There's always a key there. So I'm going to open this as we go. And... Yeah, well, it's weird that there was only one bat. Maybe there's another around the corner or something. Um, nope. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go right first. Oh, cool. This is perfect. Oh, that's not perfect. Well, I just have to get lucky. Cool. Kill this guy. Nice. And there's a spider. And a charging guy. Nice. Yeah, I like these small rooms. I haven't been getting many small rooms lately, so it's good to see those. Makes it a little bit tougher when those bats spawn right on top of you. Um, cool, cool. And I was able to shoot the bat even though I was frozen, which is kind of weird. Um, here's the map. Perfect. And, okay, so this should be a good room to kind of demonstrate the shot distance. And how it can be helpful. Oop. Wow. And yet the archer shoots me first. And I'm just totally whiffing. Whoa. This is it's actually kind of weird. Whoa. Shooting like a ugh. shooting a bullet in Dungeons of Eternity. <laughs> Very strange. I haven't really done this before, so I wouldn't say I'm the best at it. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. That was pretty clean, but, ooh, nice, nice. There we go, good stuff. Grab some coins, I think that was it. Yep, and I'll go ahead and open this. 
but yeah no as you can see it's i guess it's a little easier to predict the arc of the arrow because it just goes almost straight instead of taking that angle also i always i thought there was a key over here all the time but i guess that's only only here and there no keys over here either interesting and i do have two keys Ooh, charged at me yeah and oh let me, let me get this guy dude charging at me it's probably a priority but i didn't even prioritize him <laughs> okay so this purple guy first because he does the most damage you can see i don't have impale so i'm not doing much damage um that impale perk is probably the best perk i also missed my poison arrow which kind of sucked all right there we go um but yeah so i'm i'm doing less damage i've got the shot distance and honestly um i could just be using the shot distance on my bow and be using impale as the perk and that probably would be ideal because i don't think there's much of a difference between plus 60 percent and plus 110 percent of the shot distance so there's that Let's see if we get some guys here um oh yeah so i was gonna mention um in this dungeon uh ooh, lost my bow i took it right out of my hands i'm not gonna use the knives though to take my bow right back out um but yeah in the underworld which is this one and this this realm at least and the lava forge realm um wow takes a lot of arrows um both of those i believe have imps those guys that were just fighting me and then i don't think sandstorm or vile hall does okay that's wow goodbye <laughs> little glitch good stuff i don't think there was anything up there but i'm gonna double check and not actually jump okay cool we're good <laughs> um but yeah so vile halls and sandstorm i don't think has imps but i'm gonna i'm gonna keep kind of thinking about that as i play wow there's gotta be another guy it's just him just the singular okay interesting oh oh that is tough that is tough i might die no okay we're good just had to hit that guy once wow there's a lot more guys now did they <laughs> this feels like a game update or something they made it harder maybe maybe i'm just lucky with this dungeon and it's a it's an interesting one um let me kill this mage first because he's the biggest threat i can kind of just walk around these zombies all right and he's not taking the poison i think maybe when i have a poison arrow maybe it's harder to um actually have the effect oh that was terrible um but yeah so maybe the effect doesn't actually activate no matter what uh especially if they have if they're an elite enemy so like a purple also i don't know which way to go i'll go this way first but if it's a purple or it has that red glow that's the end room so i'm gonna go over here first but the purple and and red glows maybe they don't they don't take the elements no matter what uh or, or they have like a prevention see that that purple he took it oh and now he just blocked that one. All right. Try not to hit his head because that kind of like blocks the... Okay. We're good there. This guy is taking a lot of, a lot of damage. Okay. Bam. Nope. Okay. Kill. <laughs> this is crazy. Ah. Oh. Wow. Wow guy took a lot and then the arrow just bounced off that zombie that's crazy ow and the fireballs don't really do anything because i got vitality and i'll just get my health back right after being hit by one um but yeah there's no no chest in there no reason to waste the key even though i have five <laughs> Kill that guy Ooh. Uh oh wow good thing that wasn't an ice bat i would have died that's an ice bat. Two ice bats. Okay. Oh, I almost fell off. Okay, we're good. If I can hit that, that'd be crazy. <laughs> um, okay. Kill this guy. 
See, I hit him in the him in the head. He just took a horn. I don't think he actually took damage. Okay, cool. Now, don't think there's any chests in this room, so yeah, I'll go ahead and just grab some coins. <laughs> oh, there is a key though. That's nice. Might as well open this. Nah, I don't need it. I don't need it. Who cares? All right. Now, into this place. Wow. Yeah, I don't. I don't take enough time to just look around the room and see how beautiful the uh, dungeons really are. But they are pretty freaking awesome. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Right off the bat. Hand that battery over. Get that guy. Oh wow. Dude charging at me from behind. Not even charging. He was just there. <laughs> okay. It's also best to when you poison the enemies. Oh wow, I missed that poison arrow though. When you po poison them, it's good to just leave them there. Um, so that other enemies don't spawn behind you. Because killing enemies does make them spawn. I wonder if they can dodge just as well, even though my arrows are going super fast, as if I didn't have shot distance. I probably can, because I, I think I've seen the arrows just go straight through the enemies, and then they it just shows that dodge animation, but actually, that guy I think dodged and didn't actually get... Oh! Another guy. Got two guys poisoned. Okay. And that other guy who was poisoned over there, still poisoned. Oof. There we go. Kill this guy. The elite. I've got that battery pinging at me. Okay, I'll leave those two guys as I kill this guy. Okay, cool. Might as well kill this guy first. Wow. This guy just does not care. Okay, there's one down. Wow, very dodgy. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay, we're good. Oh, big mage. That guy is scary. I'm gonna run away from him for a second. Place the battery and shoot him. Oh, ah, oh, I gave him time to spawn some enemies. What else did he spawn? I think usually it's two enemies. Okay, getting him before he spawns too much. Mm, there he is. Not using my volume good enough. I might have to turn up my sound effects for the volume so I can hear that guy a little better. But then the devourers are so loud. Oh wow, I just didn't see him. Oh jeez, 42. Wow, he could kill me in like three shots. Good thing he doesn't shoot fast. <laughs> Don't need that. Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, sometimes it, it hits him, but he doesn't show like a response. There, he, That was a response, but I think when he's doing an action, it doesn't show if he's hit. And yeah, this guy <laughs> might take a while to kill. Oop, just totally missed him. Let's see, what do we have? We got bombs. I don't have a quad potion, quad damage potion. That means I should be aiming for the head. There we go, there's a headshot. And yeah, I wish I had critical or impale here, that would be huge. <laughs> so yeah, this is not, not a viable loadout at all, especially against this guy. The Lich, I think some people call him. Sorcerer Necromancer Mage, that's what I call him. <laughs> all right. Man, he is sturdy fellow. There we go. Alrighty, into the battery. I mean the drone. Battery and the drone. See if I can stand on it. Oh, for a second. Good stuff. Very beautiful place. A very nice, very nice dungeon. I like that one. Where are we? Return to outpost. Okay. Yeah, well, that worked. Shot distance, as you can see. Basically the speed of a bullet, but not very viable. Um, I think I would prefer not even to have shot distance. I would just use, um, 
I'd use critical, impale, any of the other stuff. Like you can get poison along with shot distance. So poison's good. Uh, maybe like shot distance, um, poison, ice, or fire, and critical would be really good for for a bow. Um, but again, you don't really need it because you can kind of just calculate the arc that it's going to shoot at instead of just shooting straight. And I feel like that's a fun challenge to do anyway. So yeah, and you don't really need to shoot the enemies faster than they can shoot you. It's just like a millisecond of a difference. So it doesn't really matter, but hope you enjoyed and peace out.